We are in London, and we are here. We are with Austin Powers, international man of mystery. Yeah, well, that's why I do what I do, baby. Yes, it is the 60s, and I'm a, uh, apparently a, a clown of sorts. Some sort of patriotic clown. I can't quite make it out. Or maybe you were forced to wear these clothes because of shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> You're shooting a movie of sorts here today, right? Yeah, we're doing a little, uh, a little movie about my life as a swinger. Did you All see right. the license plate? Look at that. Did you? Swinger, baby, as you I am. I sometimes come here and look at it, and also to get a good hit of the exhaust fumes. Gets me high, baby. Yeah. That's into nice. that piece. OK. <laughs> Moving on. You got, you have, uh, you have a bad nice teeth. smile. You have a nice smile. I have bad teeth, bad English teeth. You have to understand, in the 60s, you could still be a sex symbol and have terrible teeth. <laughs> if we you... don't believe in brushing your teeth. You Americans are so soft. Your ideas of oral hygiene. Your ideas of smelling nice. You know, I don't understand it. But when you dress like this, do you yeah. find that it affects the way you act? Does it, does it help the whole mood? Oh, man, this is just like my mojo suit of armor. Baby. <laughs> Before I put it on, I'm without any sort of sexual powers. I put on the suit and I'm invincible. Kong kong ka chong ka chong ka ching ka ching. Now you actually have a choreographer here, right? A professional yes. choreographer you work with? Yes, Marguerite. That's her name. Do you do any uh, improv stuff? Do you just throw in the next? No, bit? no, it's all worked out. But really? she has managed to capture my mojo perfectly. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. She looked at me, took a sample of my mojo, went to a lab, and then recreated it. And she created synthetic mojo to go with my natural mojo. It's amazing what these scientists are doing now. I invented many things, various strains of wheat. I invented time zones. And I invented the girl. Oh, yeah. Get in good and close for those choppers. <laughs> there you go. Hello, hello, hello. What's the catchphrase from this movie? I know a lot, of, a lot of your movies have catchphrases. Well, I don't really I don't, like, work out a catchphrase. I don't get like six 18-year-olds and then put them in a laboratory and hook them up as if they're in a Skinner box jolt them every time they get the catchphrase wrong and then reward them with a food pellet every time they get it right. It doesn't work that way, man. It's organic. <laughs> so just whatever comes out. Whatever comes out, baby. After a lifetime of people saying, let's have a look at your bum, it just becomes natural. It's like a Frisbee dog, baby. You just get that bum, put it in front of them and throw it, and they go and they jump at it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's terrible. My bum as Frisbee, people as dog, you see. You follow the analogy. I see it. It's a brilliant yeah, analogy. Yeah, sure it is. And these trousers, look at that now. Walking away and, ooh, you can't help yourself, can you? It's a money shot. 